Morning guys, you join me today on a, a very cold and wet Wednesday morning. I am today going to do a bit of maintenance on the RS2000. Uh, I usually change the oil and filter uh, every 500 odd miles or so and I did that recently. But last time I took it out I had a bit of a flutter, a bit of a misfire. So I thought I'd order a new set of spark plugs and uh, fit them. I plan to try and get it out this weekend and do a bit of filming for you guys. Uh, a couple of my mates are free, so um, we're going to try and get out and do a bit of filming. So that should be good. This runs uh, like a motorbike style uh, NGK spark plug. Uh, that's what the, the Harris family had put in the car. Um, they're an NGK DPR 8 EA 9. And they run a little insert in the head. They have like special inserts that the spark plug goes into. So um, let's get on with it and get them changed. Eh? Sound. Each one of my HT leads has got an, uh, a number on it. One, two, three, four. You can see, I've made this lovely little uh, bracket, which I can uh, put my four spark plugs in. I've made this lovely little bracket, which I can mount like the spark plugs while I set the gaps. Uh, these need set into 30 foul. So, what should we say, gap into 30 foul. When I put new spark plugs in, I always like to start them by hand. Don't want to be cross threaded in your head. Got these spark plugs to 30 foul, which is a 0 0.76 of a mil. You'll have to excuse the hat, but it's bloody cold in my garage today. Give them a little dip. Then we'll put the HT leads back on. As I said before, mine are numbered. Got little collars. Same. One. Two. Three. 
four makes it easier, especially when it's changing spark plugs near enough every year. I'll say that's what I meant when I meant insert. It's got like a a bit of a like a, an insert in the head, and then the spark plug goes into that. I think because they're uh, motorbike spark plugs. When you look on eBay and type in the code, they're coming out as motorbike spark plugs. There's the twin forty eight guys. <sighs> Let's say this is my little bracket. It's quite a good little idea. Saves dropping the spark plugs and that. Keeps them nice and tidy. Plus the old ones, I can clean up and gap them ready to, you know, like if I need to uh, have a spare set to put back in or what. But I'll, I'll check them over. The two of them were really wet, but uh, I'm really coked up. So, all right, guys. There they are. The NGK spark plugs. So this is the code. These are the ones I run on my uh, 2.2 Harris Pinto. This engine's putting out around, I think it was a 213 or 212 brake horsepower when I got dynoed last year at uh, Mike Mechanics up in Congleton. I think it was about a £160 foot of torque as well. So it's pretty good for a Pinto like considering what they used to put out standard so hope that helped guys um even though i give that like well i give this rs2000 like at a hard time i always um i'm always on top of maintenance and every time i take it out i always get it back and jack it up and give it a quick wipe over and uh, check all like all the bolts underneath are tight and bits and pieces you know what I mean, you've always got to have that bit of mechanical sympathy to stuff, you know what I mean, where you've got to keep on top of oil changes and that if you're going to give something a hard time and let it warm up and let it cool down, etc. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, guys, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, all right? Um, we'll try and get this out at the weekend, hopefully, if the weather's well. So, um, keep, a, keep an eye out for a good video on this one at the weekend. All right, guys, see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,